Alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, my brothers and sisters. Um, I'm recording this video uh, because, of course, there is a, um, a real interest and a love and a desire to want to know um, about what happened to our beloved Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad al Sharif, alayhi rahmatullah. Um, on behalf of Sheikh Muhammad's family, I'm recording this. On behalf of the, the Shura of Al Maghrib, I'm recording this. And on behalf really of all of you, I am representing all of you to give the haq to a man, alayhi rahmatullah, that has led to an outpouring of grief and happiness at the same time that they were able to benefit so much in their lifetime. And everybody, I guess, is struggling to process their emotions in different ways. Um, I just want to say that Sheikh Muhammad, um, on the morning of Thursday, today is uh, Sunday, so only a few days ago, on that morning, um, after not feeling very well uh, for uh, a few weeks, uh, but feeling better on the Thursday, uh, at home, noticing that his wife was not very well, decided to make it easier upon her and take the two young children. Muhammad al-Sharif uh, had four children. The, um, the, the two of them that are young are only three and seven. And of course that's hard work. And so he decided to take them um, out for the day. Um, he was at the mall and it was time for Salatul Maghrib. Uh, when he entered to pray Salatul Maghrib, the children were uh, kept aside and um, after he had prayed, he missed the, the jama'ah of the actual mall and so he was praying by himself. Um, he collapsed in the prayer. The, um, he fell unconscious, but he regained consciousness. The ambulance came and they took him away. Um, they, in hospital, tried to resuscitate him after he lost consciousness again. And that was because he had a heart attack. Uh, Sheikh Mohammed passed because of a cardiac arrest, of a myocardial infarction. Um, there was no clot, there was no stroke. Um, by the time that I got here, he was still in the hospital. We were able to get him released on the, fri on the Friday. We were hoping to get uh, him uh, pr prayed upon. I want to share something uh, beautiful. Um, I made the announcement that we would be able to, inshallah, get the ghusl done and have the prayer done at a time that was not the prayer time. You all know that most people, they set janazas after a jama'a time. They set them after a time when uh, the people are already there to increase the size of the congregation. Um, we couldn't get him there for the 10 past four Asr congregation. So we set a half past five time and we recognized that we would suffer as a result in the number of people to, to come. And SubhanAllah, the people that arrived for the half past five uh, uh, janazah was ridiculous. The masjid was completely full. And this is a sign of Qabul. I want you to know, of course, that uh, that you probably noticed already, but the family uh, uh, of Sheikh Muhammad did not want any recording or any photos. That's why you've not seen anything. And that's uh, something that I respected. Um, and I think it's very important for everybody else to respect. I know people were disappointed but we can speak about it. It was a fabulous gathering. It was from people that knew him, who didn't know him from all of the states that are, that are here. The UAE, they traveled across the borders and it was really beautiful to see old and new people, young, and, and the masjid was packed. There were hundreds and hundreds of people. They had arrived, but the body had not arrived because it was uh, delayed. When the body did arrive around, five, around uh, uh, just about six o'clock, then I took over, I had the other team that I was working with bring the body to the, uh, to the masjid. To the, we did a uh, ghusl for Sheikh Muhammad. And he's smiling, yes. And it's so, so nice to see that. It's such a warm feeling to see that. I supervised and led the ghusl of Sheikh Muhammad. It was, a, it was done beautifully, it was done thoroughly. I want to say here that the uh, main uh, helper I, I also want to shout out the, the two people that are responsible for the Janaza list in the Emirates. They did an incredible job as well. And the family of Sheikh Muhammad were involved as well. We honored Sheikh Muhammad in the Ghusl. 
we used a number of forms of perfume from ourselves and from those that that wanted to uh, 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 donate that perfume. His kafan was incredibly beautiful in terms of not just the fold and the finish, but the smell. Then we prayed over Sheikh Muhammad. It was a beautiful packed prayer according to the sunnah of the Prophet And then we were able to take the body and bring him here. We buried the Sheikh. Um, uh, around half past six, Salatul Maghrib was at ten past seven, so we were able to get him in the daylight without any doubts. I want to mention just a few beautiful things. If the janaza had occurred at half past five, like I had planned, then what would have happened is that they would have prayed, would have taken the body, and then we would have done the janaza, and the people then would have gone. As a result of the delay, and I asked, I told everybody, guys, we are delayed by at least an hour. Everybody then filled the masjid with the reciting of the Quran and the making of dua and making the It was one of those beautiful sights that you will not forget. I was at the back of the masjid because I was sitting down. I have a problem with my neck at the moment. And I was watching the masjid and it was completely packed, full of people reciting Quran and making dua. This is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I was thinking, man, this is a disaster. This is going to happen after Maghrib. It's going to be dark. I don't want that fitna. I want it in the light time. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed it to happen at such a time where the temperature was cool. We are talking 45, 50 degrees where we are right now. And yet, when, the, when we did it, no stress, no issues. We brought the body and we're about to show you the grave. We entered him, we did it according to the sunnah. The shak that was involved is the lahad of the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu This video had to be recorded so the people feel comfortable. I want everyone to know that if you're in Dubai, you can come and visit the grave of the Sheikh. There are du'as to make, not just for the Sheikh, but everybody who is here. This is the grave of the Sheikh. Sheikh Muhammad al-Sharif this is the grave, this is where his head is, this is the direction of the Qibla. And a person who would be praying, then they would pray in this direction. It is allowed to stand at here because they will not use this area. And so therefore, a person would come, if he had not prayed the Janazah prayer, it would be permissible for him to pray. Otherwise, a dua for Sheikh Muhammad is the best way that you can look after him. Of course, we give greetings. Assalamu alaikum. أهل الديار من المؤمنين والمسلمين وإنا إن شاء الله بكم للاحقون نسأل الله لنا ولكم العافية اللهم آمين This is the sunnah to make the dua for all of the inhabitants of this grave and we love and respect everyone it's important that we show that generality but of course this is about Sheikh Muhammad عليه رحمة الله the number of this grave is 364-33 in Al Quz Cemetery for anyone who wants to visit at any time. In people don't need to visit the grave necessarily to benefit the Sheikh. Wherever you are, you'll maybe never come to this country. And it's not so it's not that you should come to Dubai just to visit the grave of Sheikh Muhammad. It's not from our deen. It's not from our Sunnah. We don't do that. We don't hold graves to that level of veneration. But the people we do. And the way that we do that is to make dua for them, to spread what they taught us. This is the Sadaqa Jariyah. Everybody knows the hadith of Sadaqa Jariyah. The three things which, which benefit the person. What are they? It is the dua of the child, but everyone by extension. It is the knowledge which they had, which is spread, which we can all do. It is the Sadaqa Jariyah, which you spread. Charity is not just having to pay. You can do many, many things and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses our Shaykh alayhi rahmatullah. Jazakumullah khair for waiting and, and for, uh, for this update and it's taken some time. Jazakumullah khair for watching this video. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward every single one of you that's shown this love and emotion for Shaykh Muhammad al-Sharif.